My name is Omar Torres, and I'm a tutor for the QEP Math Program, sponsored by the Office of Student Success. Today we'll be studying the elimination method. The object of the elimination method is to take two unknown variables, in this case x and y, and try to eliminate one to substitute a value of that uh, particular variable. What you'll do is you'll cancel out one of the variables and then you'll solve for it and plug it in later. So let's take a look at our first problem. We have two equations. We have 5x minus y equals 5. The second one is 3x plus y equals 11. Now if you stop and look at them both, you can draw a line across here and you'll add them up. The sum of the both equations actually cancels out the y here. You have a negative y and a positive y. So when you add up these two equations, it leaves you with an 8x equals 16. So now if we solve for the value of x, you'll actually divide here, and it will give you 16 over 8. Now 16 divided by 8 is going to give you a value of 2. So now we know that x has a value of 2. Now given the problem here, it actually doesn't matter. You can either plug in the, the value of 2 into either equation and it will still give you the exact same value for y. So let's try that out. The first equation is 5. Now we have a value of 2. We'll plug that in here. Subtract the y equals to 5. Now as you work that out, you'll multiply here, giving you a value of 10. y is still negative. And you have equals 5. The order of operation state, you more than often you just want to keep your uh, value of y to be positive. So what we'll actually do is we'll add y to both sides. And then you'll actually subtract once you bring it down. So you have 10 equals 5 plus y. The next step, we want to isolate the numbers from the variables. So you'll subtract the 5 from both sides. Which will give you 10 subtracted from 5 actually going to be 5. So now we have a value for y. Now to prove this, all we'd have to do is you can take the value of x, plug it into the second equation, which was 3 times 2 plus y equals 11. As you work this out, you'll have 6 plus y equals 11. Now we want to isolate the, uh, the variable once more. Subtract 6 from both sides, giving me a value of y equals 5. Showing you that it doesn't matter which equation you actually plug it into, the value will always remain the same. Let's take a look at a second e equation. Here we have the first equation stating 4x minus 5y is equal to 7. And the second equation is negative 4x plus 5y equals 7. So now, to eliminate one or the other, if you actually add up the sum of both of these equations, it leaves you with a value of 0 where x would be, and a value of 0 where y would be. Now, when you stop and look at this, you'll realize that 0 can't equal to 7, making this an untrue statement. If this is an untrue statement, then you obviously know there is no solution for this problem. Once again, my name is Omar Torres, and I'm a tutor for the QEP Math Program, sponsored by the Office of Student Success.